Hey, what's up? It's Michael here from FitterMedia.com, and we help build and rank websites for local service businesses specifically, but we've helped companies all over the United States. So in this video, we're going to be going over what is a website footer and why is it important? So first off, what is it? So I'm just on the blog post for this video, but if I scroll down to the bottom, you'll see we have this section here and it has things like links to the services that we offer, company links, uh, resources, links to social media, and some legal stuff down here. So this whole section is a footer. So basically a footer goes at the very bottom of every page on a website and it includes links or stuff that you see here and also some more things that we're gonna go over in this video. So basically if I go to uh, one of our service pages, scroll down, you're gonna see it has the exact same footer. So it's at the end of every page. So why is it important? So it's important for a few reasons. First, a footer helps with user navigation. Second, it helps a ton with SEO. And third, it helps as kind of a place to put a lot of legal jargon. We'll kind of go into that a little bit more and use Apple's website as an example. And then footers also act as just like the catch-all place for a lot of stuff that wouldn't make sense to go elsewhere on the site. So let's first off go over user navigation. How does it help with that? So basically on a website, the nav bar is going to have a lot of the most popular links. It's going to have services, pricing, about, like a lot of those most popular links. However, for like the less, less popular links that are still important, those links can be found in the footer. So for example, say you buy something on a website and you want to return it, usually a link to their refund policy can be found in the footer. So that's a little bit how it helps with user um, navigation. The second thing is it helps a ton with SEO. In this video, we're going to go over two of the most important ways it helps with SEO. And the first way is it helps with internal linking. Internal linking is basically when a website links to itself. So down here in my footer, it, here I have a link called web design that basically links to the web design service page. And then we go back. It's the same thing for the rest of the pages. Now, this is important because it helps Google know more about my site and know how to rank my site. So it helps with internal linking. The second thing it helps with is preventing orphan links. Now, an orphan link is when you have a page on your website. An orphan link is when you have a page on your website that is not being linked to by any other part of your website. So basically, the only way people can find it is if they have the direct URL to the page. If I go to one of my other pages right here, this is called uh, my links page. Basically, this goes to my Instagram profile and things like that. This page is not linked to by any other part of my website, so technically it is an orphan page. Now for this page, it's fine. I'm not too worried about it, but for larger pages, it's important that they have links coming to them. And this helps with SEO because if you're not linking to your own pages, it can sometimes make it harder for search engines to index those pages making their rankings be a little bit lackluster and not like just not rank that well. So the third thing is footers help hide legal jargon. <laughs> and basically this isn't apparent usually on smaller businesses websites. However, once you start getting into businesses who they need to have a lot of disclaimers on their website, they usually choose to put those disclaimers in the footer. It's a, usually a good place to put them because it's there if someone needs it, but it's not upfront in the person's face. So for an example, if we go to Apple's website and we scroll all the way to the very bottom, you're going to see they have a ton of legal text right here. Now this would kind of look weird if they put it like up here where they're putting the iPhone 13 Pro, but they put it here in the footer. It looks nicer. If someone needs it, they can scroll down and get it. That's another use case of why a footer is important. The last thing is a website footer kind of acts as a catch-all place for a lot of random stuff that wouldn't make sense going on another place on your website. So for example, um, some of these uh, things that could go in a footer would be a clickable address for a local business, contact info, like your email, phone number, things like that. If that isn't your primary call to action, you would put those things in the footer. Uh, legal pages, privacy policies, terms of service, etc. Social media icons or social media links, um, email marketing forms, and the list could go on. Basically, all these things that are kind of hard to put in other places of your website, you can compile them down put them in your footer. So that is a quick overview of what a website footer is and why it's important. If you have any questions, 
feel free to just comment on this video or go to fittermedia.com and send me an email. Also, if you would like me to personally look over your website and give you a website audit, you can sign up for one at fittermedia.com slash audit. That's F-I-T-R media.com slash audit. There will also be a link in the description. But basically, I'll personally go over your website. Go, I'll provide you a simple video audit that's easy to follow. A SEO audit and basic competitor analysis of your competitors based on your specific website. I'll give you a tailored SEO game plan as well as an exhaustive homepage design audit to show you how you can start converting more visitors into customers. And if you do the things I suggest in an audit, you'll start getting more website customers. You'll get increased Google rankings. You'll learn how to outrank your competitors and how to fix common errors that many websites suffer from. So if you want that, you can just go to the link that I provided in the description below. But until next time, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.